For thousands of years, humans have spun natural fibers like wool or cotton into continuous and usable strands. While natural fibers are weak and break easily, spinning them into yarn allows us to create fabrics and textiles for clothing, blankets, and other items. From the earliest, most primitive tools for hand spinning, to the very first spinning machines that marked the beginning of industrialization. Yarn spinning process has continuously evolved alongside our civilization. By the late 20th century, large-scale automated machinery had already become the standard in factories. And now with the rise of AI and advanced automation, factories can produce tons of yarn every day, supplying the essential raw materials for next steps of fabric weaving and garment manufacturing. Today, let's take a look inside a modern spinning mill. What's in there and how they manage to produce up to 50 tons of yarn in just one day. Trolley Tex is a spinning mill located in Northern Vietnam. To meet global textile industry standards and move towards sustainable development goals, the factory has upgraded to the latest optimized facility layout to ensure the yarn they produce is of the highest quality. And of course, to start spinning, we need fibers. These can be natural fibers such as cotton, wool, and silk, or man-made ones like polyester, viscose, and nylon. At this very first stage, the length, smoothness, and cleanliness of the fibers will directly impact the quality of the yarn produced. The first stage is called blow room. These machines open up tightly packed fiber bales, reducing the stress caused during transportation. As the fibers move along the line, they're cleaned by removing dirt, dust, and large impurities. At the same time, automatic mixers can combine natural, synthetic, or even recycled fibers, if required, into a homogeneous blend with consistent quality and color. Each fiber type and order has its own machine's preset formula. Combined with smart processing technology, this setup ensures complete uniformity of the fibers before moving on to the next stage. Following the pipelines, our fibers move on to the second stage, carding. In this step, fibers are further separated and cleaned of short fibers, remaining impurities and neps. Carding and pre-carding units blend fibers evenly and align them into continuous, uniform slivers that are relatively parallel and not yet twisted. Some even call this the heart of spinning because it lays the foundation for the final yarn quality. After carding, there is a supplementary step called combing or fine carding, much the same execution but with higher precision. Combing machine removes particular short fibers and any remaining impurities, retaining only the long fibers and strands. This process makes the slivers approximately seven times thinner and stronger than in the previous step. Some types of regenerated fibers can skip this step since the fibers are relatively clean and uniform from the start. After rough carding, those slivers go straight into the drawing stage. When the slivers are finally formed, they get to the drawing machines. Here, multiple slivers are drawn in parallel and combined into a new, more uniform strand. In a standard setup, about six to eight carded slivers, or eight to 12 comb slivers, are pulled together through pairs of rollers, blended and straightened into a smoother, more consistent form. This process creates slivers, with even fiber density and distribution, making them finer and reducing the risk of yarn breakage in the later stages. That said, these slivers are still quite thick and fluffy with no real bonding between fibers. So before they can actually be spun into true yarn, an intermediate step is still needed. This is roving, the transition stage between thick slivers and the finer strands of yarn. Its job is to reduce the slivers into smaller, more manageable strands called roving. The rollers continue to draw the fibers out, making them thinner while adding a very light twist. This twist doesn't harden the fibers, but just enough to hold the structure together. The rovings are then wound evenly onto cylindrical bobbins below. After roving, these draft yarns are now fine enough with just the right amount of twist and stability to be fed into spinning machines. Now to the real spinning process. This is a compact spinning system. 
As you can see, the large bobbins are mounted on the creel and the fibers are guided down into the drafting rollers below. Each strand is drawn out into a finer yarn, passed through the twisting system and gradually wound onto smaller bobbins underneath. This is the step where yarn is actually created. After this stage, we obtain yarn packages with the required yarn count. The quality achieved here directly affects the efficiency and outcome of later processes like dyeing and finishing. But we're not done yet. Before leaving the factory, every yarn package goes through a final inspection with the Auto Connor machine. Here, the yarn is refined one more time, defective parts are removed, broken ends are spliced, and yarn evenness is carefully controlled. This ensures that only the best quality yarn is delivered to the next stage. During this process, the yarn from smaller bobbins is rewound into larger cones, ready for weaving or knitting. And the process is fully automated to ensure precision consistency and to boost the mill's overall productivity. Here we have the final product, high quality yarn cones neatly stacked in the warehouse, waiting to be packed and shipped to weaving and knitting factories for the next stage. There are several spinning methods for different types of yarn, each with their own name and characteristics. For example, ring spun yarn, open end spun yarn, air jet spun yarn, or compact spun yarn, like the one we just explored today. With this level of technology and factory setup, spinning mills like Trolley Tex can produce around 50 to 100 tons of yarn every single day, ensuring both quantity and quality at the highest standards for every order. Trolley Tex is also taking part in producing a new generation of eco-friendly yarns together with other manufacturers in Vietnam with the ambition and vision to secure the country's textile supply chain and further to supply the global market. And for that, we'll be sharing more exciting details in our next video. Stay tuned.